Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here, back with another Shadowgun Legends video. Today, Shadowgun Legends news. We'll talk about what's going on this week in Shadowgun Legends. First of all, I want to talk about the Emperor Bundle a little bit. You guys know the Emperor Bundle had a remake. It's now a full body cosmetic set. I want to talk about also uh, the gold supplies. And then maybe the end of the current event, I will buy my rewards. I don't know what to do with my coins yet. Also, uh, the start of the new event and the launch of the new phone, ROG Phone 2. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to talk about the launch and the specs and stuff. So I guess let's go with the events first and then maybe the bundle and stuff. All right, let's start with the event, guys. Blasters of Rock is about to end tomorrow, so I'm going to spend my tokens tonight. But yeah, it was a bit different this time from what we had lately. Again, a two weeks event, but the two weeks were different. Maybe Blue Ball's event was a bit similar, but yeah, we had dungeons and then arenas. Also, the farmable tokens only for the second week. Uh, there was a bit more rewards to buy. I know some guys were disappointed, myself included. Maybe it was not my favorite event. I didn't grind like crazy, but still, I mean, they try to keep us busy and give us things to do. Although it is not very long. For casual players, I guess it's okay, but... For hardcore gamers that really want to, you know, have a, a reason to grind and farm. Uh, maybe, I don't know, if you guys didn't have the music emote, it was a bigger grind. Like, let's see, but for real, I, I already have the emote, right? So that's 650 that I don't need to farm. Now I got the hat, the guitar, and the glasses. I'll go for guitar and glasses because I think they're super cool. The hat... I mean, it's never been my favorite hat in the game. I already have it twice because I think the Melee Mayhem event had a different variation. Uh, they both black. They both have silver-ish logo. This one has the Glow Skull logo. So I know it's pretty cool if you like the hat. But I don't want to farm just to buy it. And also, it's another spot that will take place in my inventory, right? Anyways, I love the guitar still. I think it's pretty cool and I'm gonna buy it. And uh, I guess the glasses. I seen some people wear it in the hub. Oh, not the sticker, the glasses, yeah. Uh, pretty cool for real. I like cosmetics, I'm a cosmetic guy. So I got 425 left. And yeah, it, I play a bit every day. I did some dungeons, I did some arenas. I didn't farm like nonstop, but I play every day, right? And I've been streaming also, playing with viewers. I did some hives, some arenas, and I still don't have enough. So I guess if someone wanted to buy everything, including the, the emote, uh, I guess it's a pretty good grind. So you cannot please everyone once again. I guess it's okay. I don't know. Leave a comment below how you like it. But I like the fact that if you played a lot, then you can spend the rest of your tokens and uh, buying cans of that, right? The The... The epic colors, the the camels were pretty good this time. I love it. I think it's funny, but some guys don't like it. Anyways, guys, that will be it for now. I don't know. I guess I'll spend the rest and buy a bunch of cans because I don't think I want to farm for the hat, honestly. Uh, now the bundle, guys. First of all, if you didn't know, the bundles are now all cosmetic sets in except one. And it's the anniversary bundle. I guess you could say one and a half year anniversary. Guys, it's been one year for six months now because it was in March, the first anniversary. And now it's September. So it's been in the shop for six months. And it's not a cosmetic bundle. It really is different pieces of armor, but you have the cosmetic hat, the cosmetic front, and the belt. So it's half cosmetic, half, half armor. And I think they will not rework it. Not for now, at least. They said it's an anniversary thing. And I guess it's just going to leave the shop some time, I guess. So the rest, there was one bundle remaining to rework. And it was the Emperor bundle. And you can see it now. It's now a full body cosmetic. Legs, body, and not the hat. The hat, I mean, it's not legendary. It's epic, okay? Uh, the Epic's Hexfire. So anyways, if you bought the bundle before it was a cosmetic, you can contact customer support and ask for it and they will send you the cosmetic like they did for the other bundle. I remember the Spectre. I bought the Spectre when it was an armor set 
and when it changed to cosmetic set they sent and they even said on the mad stream just contact support they will send it was not a secret right so they did it for the emperor bundle now and like once again i'll be honest with you guys like people really like to say that i'm paid by mfg which i'm not and i only give positive reviews but i told you guys i like the game i'm not gonna say negative stuff if i don't hate okay but when i don't like something i say and i'll be honest i like the cosmetic bundle i like all cosmetic bundles but one thing i don't like of the start like off the bat is you are forced to wear the the stickers on it the, like it's not stickers you cannot put stickers on it the king logo the red king on the shoulders and on the chest i'm not a fan i think it's the only thing i don't like on that bundle because i like the shape i like the look and um i will show you guys you can put dual colors on it but originally it's gold and i think it's i don't know if you call it olive green or khaki but well you can see anyways it's it's kind of greenish and gold and it comes with the savannah back so it's another legendary set so now you can wear full legendary sets if you want um but yeah like the, it's a great hat and it comes in gold and you got a full gold paint bucket but i wish we would have a choice for the sticker i really wish you could just choose not to have one i think it would maybe look better because it's red right so if you wear different colors it's not gonna look good with all the colors but i mean i don't know if i'm being picky but it's just i say i say it how it is uh looking at the do double colors or dual colors and see what parts of the armor will change colors so if you go uh blue and yellow well you see it right and it's gonna still have the black on the elbows and the like i don't know how to say the waist part some black parts will stay black but it's still dual color and i know like red red and yellow the king sticker it doesn't look bad on blue but on some other colors, I don't know. This one's okay, I guess. Um, what's the name? Bonfire Blaze. Pretty cool. And I got a few more. The white, uh, white blue. And that, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. It's not that bad. But I wish we could just choose another sticker instead. But I guess part of programming, maybe. This one's looking pretty badass. Black and white. And uh, of course, I'm going to try with different uh, back cosmetics and different hats. But that is the Emperor Bundle, guys. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm picky again with the, the sticker, but not a big fan. I wish we could just put any sticker we want on it. So leave a comment below for real. How do you like it? I'm definitely going to paint it, by the way, and probably choose another hat and another, another back cosmetic because it's kind of weird. The lion, like the... the on the picture it doesn't look like that but when you wear it the lion face and the shoulder it's uh, maybe it's too big it's uh interfering right but still i like i like cosmetic bundles and i like that we now have legendaries and we now have a choice of legendaries maybe uh had a few if we could have a few more legendary hats would be nice because we don't have that many uh, one more thing guys the gold supplies i wanted to say a quick word about gold supplies it's been a while now they removed the 90 days and 60 days gold supplies and my 90 days gold supply finally expired three days ago and my 60 days i still have 57 because when they went on sale that's what people did like if they put the 60 days on sale people would buy like three or four bundles or gold supplies right and they would have gold supply of 60 days they would add up for a year right same thing for the 90 days i think i bought two or three when they were on sale so i had gold supply forever so they decided to remove it and let people like let let them expire and then i don't know what's next are they gonna bring it back i don't know what's the plan guys but like now i only have two gold supplies and uh, missing the 200 every day for until until they come back now about next week event there was a message in game today if you guys log into the game today wednesday aces and mad finger games team up 
they already been partners since the launch there was asus ads on the billboards and now asus launched a new gaming phone the rog2 and they want to congratulate asus for the launch terrific launch and we'll talk about it a little bit of the rogue phone too and uh, very excited to announce their cooperation so preparing for tomorrow's event they say it will be filled with many exclusive rog team cosmetics and gear i'm always excited for cosmetics cannot wait to see what they'll do i remember the nvidia shield partnership we had an nvidia shield full armor bundle so i guess they could do something like that put the sponsor or partner logos on gear uh, and they say it's not just cosmetics, could be gear, could be armor, could be weapons. I guess we'll have to see tomorrow. We don't have any info yet on tomorrow's event. I guess maybe they did talk about it on stream, but I was working, couldn't watch the stream. So I don't know if it's one week or two weeks. PvE or PvP, leave a comment, please, for the viewers. If you have any info, leave a comment below. Now, talking about possible rewards in the upcoming events, another emote was added to the game on the last update, 094, about a week ago. It's called Globetrotter. Globetrotter? I mean, I don't even know still how to pronounce it. I guess Globetrotter. Correct me. But acquire emotes to unlock. It's not in the shop. It's not a reward yet. So it could come in future events. And you know, I collect all the emotes now. And I'm at 49 out of 50, so we'll be looking for that one whenever it comes out. I don't know if it's this week or in the future, but we will see, guys. Earlier today, there was a huge press event, okay? And they revealed a bunch of new products, including the new ROG phone. And they say just in China, okay, 2 million registrations in less than 24 hours and 10,000 units sold within uh, 73 seconds. They say it's record-breaking. But this is pretty big. In, in Asia, mobile gaming is a freaking huge thing. And we always years behind in America, right? I mean, the, like not just the mobile scene, but esports in general has been huge in Asia before coming to America. And we're talking years, okay? And we are catching up like mobile gaming is the same. Some games are freaking big in Asia. And then they launch in America. And it's not the same success. Just thinking Arena of Valor, for example, it was the biggest thing in Asia. And then they launch in America. And then about a year later, they stop supporting it because it's not, it doesn't have the same success. But maybe in a few years, these kind of games will catch up here in America, right? Well, I guess it's the same thing for the demand for these products. I don't know if it's going to be that big here, but over there, it's a big success. Now, of course, these phones are made for gaming. They have the top-notch screen for gaming, but also cooling systems, and they always try to improve these technologies, the screens, the cooling system, and also the battery life. Anything you need for gaming and play long sessions. I really like that they put Shadowgun Legends, and not just here, but a few times in the presentation, we see Shadowgun Legends. So I don't know if it's going to make people talk about it a little bit more. But it's not a bad thing for sure. I mean, Shadowgun Legends is such a great game. It needs to, I mean, it needs to be discovered. People that will try this game, they will love it for sure. They also shown a bunch of gadgets for gaming. They have the twin dock, so they say dual screen gaming. They also have a neat gamepad, the ROG Kunai. So they have two modes. You can like shrink it and play as a gamepad, or you can put your phone in it and play they say handheld mode uh i think it's pretty cool and they also have a desktop dock and once again showing the official partnerships i show a closer look but i don't know if you guys can spot some some new stuff i guess we see the scarlet bundle with the smoke eater hat i don't know if it's gonna be part of the new cosmetic sets uh the character on the right also you guys know uh usually you guys are good at spotting these things but yeah, let me know in the comment if you see anything special. Maybe it's part of the upcoming reward. Maybe not. But we'll see tomorrow, I guess. Now, guys, thank you for watching. I don't have anything else for you guys today. I really wish I had more details about the upcoming event. The rewards, the format, the duration. I got nothing, guys. And that's how it is.
so I want to be careful with what I say. I love the game and I've been covering it for a year and a half. But Mad Finger Games, if you wonder why YouTubers don't cover your games, I mean, you know where to find me. Like, hit me up because it's not working and I don't know what else to say. Cannot, I cannot, I say I cannot do videos if I have nothing to say. I cannot do videos. I want to make videos, but I don't, I almost didn't do that one. I mean, I'll leave it there. You guys leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more. But seriously, it's really hard to make Shadowgun Legends videos right now. So, love you guys. It's been a great run. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.